If you are developing a web application, the chances are at some stage you will want to test it using other devices or perhaps get feedback from other people. Conveyor is a new Visual Studio extension from Qoty that allows you to access your application from any device on your network and by using the Conveyor Cloud service you can also easily access your application over the internet. Conveyor will handle all the configuration settings and tunnel through your firewall opening up access to your application. To get started all you need to do is install the Conveyor extension direct from Visual Studio. Open the extensions and updates tool and from the online section search for Conveyor. Install the extension and restart Visual Studio following any prompts while doing so. When you are ready to use Conveyor, load up your application. Conveyor should be enabled by default. You can check this by going to the Tools menu in Visual Studio. The icon should be highlighted. When you run your application, you will see a window appear for Conveyor. This will show the remote URL for accessing your app over the network. Next, we just need to add an inbound firewall rule allowing access to the TCP port given in the remote URL. Open Windows Start and type wf.msc. Then click Inbound Rules on the left side and on the right hand side click New Rule. Choose Ports in the new dialog and then Next. Then select TCP and enter the port from the remote URL Ports are assigned by conveyor if they are free. You may want a bigger range if you run many web projects at the same time or if you upgrade conveyor and use fixed ports for each project. Then just give the new rule a name like conveyor web dev server access enabled. Now you can use the remote URL shown in conveyor to access your application from devices on your network. In order to access your application over the internet, you will need to register for an account. Click the Access Over Internet button and then sign up now. Once you have registered for an account, you can go ahead and log in. Once logged in, you will see the internet URL is shown in the Conveyor window. This is the URL provided by the Conveyor Cloud Service. You can now use this URL to provide access to your application over the internet. If you have ever tried setting up remote access to your Visual Studio web development server, I'm sure you know it's often time consuming and error prone. With Conveyor, you can simplify the whole process, saving you time and hassle. You can find Conveyor by searching the Visual Studio Extension Marketplace today.